This is Rhonda Brooks of Farm Journal Media. I'm here today at Corn College with Fred Whitford from Purdue University Extension. And Fred, you're here talking to farmers this week about water quality in the tank. And I was wanting to see, could you give us just a brief overview of your presentation? You bet, Rhonda. Uh, while we're here, we got a couple hundred farmers here today with us. And we're going to be talking about something that a lot of people sort of neglect. And that's the quality of the water in their spray tank. If I was to tell some of the farmers out there that your drinking water, your water is clear, it looks nice, maybe not very good for what you're spraying out in the field. We know that water can impact chemicals, how long they last in the tank, and uh, the performance once you spray it out. So what we're trying to convince our farmers today is you need to know what the pH of your water hardness is, and you can do it by getting these little simple test kits, and they measure hardness and pH. And by doing that, you're going to know the quality of your water because if you start off bad, it doesn't get any better. And we think about all the money that we're spending per acre, uh, fertilizer, fuel, labor, equipment, spending uh, just a couple of bucks on a kit to look at what your quality of water is seems to be ex ex a very inexpensive uh, sort of check on yourself. Well, that's great. I know you said that you uh, have a publication that maybe people can access that would help them uh, in this process. Can you uh, tell me about that? You betcha. In fact, we're hoping that we could, we're going to put it on your webcast. And so if you're, on, if you're watching this webcast now, you'll be able to click on it and get to the publication. Uh, this publication is written by authors from Michigan State, from Purdue, uh, some industry folks. And what we're going to show you is how to take these measurements, what pH, what's the magic numbers for pH and water hardness, and then what you can do about it to clean up your water to make sure that when you spray that crop for weeds, insects, or diseases, you're going to get the performance out of that product that you expect. Okay, well thanks Fred, appreciate your time. You betcha, folks. Glad to be here.